Hi Michelle, it's Melissa and I'm here to tell you how to shorten a sales cycle. Um, I like your analogy of the swing set, I think that's brilliant. And I'm the same way, I like to have my ducks lined up in a row. And information is power, so the more information you have on um, your target, your customer, or that restaurant group, the better. So my first step is research, research, research. When I say research, I research on a store level, um, asking questions. I have a list of questions to ask them, and that could be from usage, what type of oil, how much they pay for it, any pain points, um, take pictures of the rendering tank, go in the back of the house, and who's actually doing the, uh, who's actually in front behind that fryer, or even executive chef, getting their opinions, and creating a groundswell, really, um, and also finding a coach. I think that's really important at the store level. Um, from there, I have the information for my policy, so that would be customer profile, um, the strategies, objectives, and issues they have um, within just store level or the, the restaurant group themselves. I also find at store level, um, I find out who is the decision maker, um, and then at least I can get the coach to set up that meeting or at least have that connection in order to get in front of the decision maker. Um, when I do have the research meeting, I already have this information, tons of information about the company, and I know how to tailor uh, my presentation at the research meeting according to the information I received from the research, um, from the store level itself. Um, with that, I do like your questionnaire on um, decision-making process, and I will be using this. Um, I like the fact that I think we, we do not ask too often um, who we will be bringing anyone else into the decision making process. I think we assume that the person we're talking to is the only person until after the call. I think it's important to ask that question in the beginning of the of the research um, meeting and so if they are in the area they can come in and uh, you can address any issue they have and take it to the next level. With that, um, the research meeting, I would tailor it to their needs and what I've covered at the research meeting with decision maker. And so at a return, I would have a presentation ready for them addressing their issues, their pain points, and making sure the individuals that are in the presentation meeting uh, are the ones who will make that decision. And from there, I would definitely take the next step. Um, that would be, what is the timeline? What is the next step? Is there, is there anything else that I didn't uncover uncover and never never fail to ask for the business I think that's really important as well and then that'll give you a clue if you covered everything that um, you need to uncover in order to move it to the next step that's my sales cycle